guys, welcome. Today we'll have the Path of Exile guide for Animated Guardian for the Summoner. So initially my Animated Guardian is using the chipset of the 5 Chaos-ish set for Animated Guardian, which is a budget set, very effective. I'll show you guys what I'm using. So I was using the staff, I was using the gloves, the chest piece, the head, and also the boots. So what I'm using is the Victorian flight for the movement speed and also a bit of the other stats. The gloves mainly for the 15% or whatever percentage increase of life for the so the softbound. After that, the Leer cast for the increased damage for nearby allies and also the Amber charge for the endurance charge. And just basically when you take a damage, you recover 2% of your maximum life, which is pretty good. And lastly, we're using Dying Breath for the increase of the curse effect. And also, it, the nearby allies do 15% increased damage, which is pretty good. So this is a cheap set. You can buy those for about 5 kills, and it's very effective. I was able to defeat you know, Cyrus, a lot of things, just with this cheap animated guardian. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you guys the next upgraded set once you have enough currency. So notice I have upgraded almost everything I could, and it's down to the point that I actually can't get any big upgrades until I pay about 5 or 10 exalted for a minimal upgrade. This is why I look forward towards upgrading my animated guardian. And you do want the links for it as well. Let's go through those. So, right away, I'll show you guys the links first. The animated guardian currently is linked with mid shield, with the race zombie, and also minion line. I could go for one more for animated guardian, but I think two link is okay. So, this with zombie gets a bit more life. I could also go for the Spectre or the Carnage, the summoning of the Carnage Golden. But for me, maybe just having them with Black Magic gets more cast going. And also the zombies, I don't want to resummon them multiple times. Ideally, you want a Bone Helm with plus minute sockets. Here, I favored for the life, resistance, and plus zombies, and also the increased damage. So in the future, I'll be looking for a helmet that increases the level of the minions in the helmet. And this goes from plus one to plus three with the bone helmet. So now to the fun part. This is going to be the expensive or the high end set for the animated guardian. So we're starting right off with the mask. Mask of the Stitch Demon give us the ability to regenerate one percent life for every five hundred maximum force shield, and we'll be getting a lot of force shield. I'll explain why. So our currently. So our animated guardian has about 100k HP and that 100k HP will translate into, with this perk over here of course, with grave intention, that 100k HP will translate into 10k energy shield. And 10k energy shield, so 10,000 energy shield will come back with the helmet to give us 20% life per second. And that's about 20k life per second for an animated guardian. Now follow up, we, go, we do have the chest piece. The chest piece do give us less damage, physical damage taken, and nearby allies get the speed boost, which they can go a bit lower. Nearby enemies cannot deal critical hit, and also we get the divinity, which is a pretty decent item. The biggest part is also the increased energy shield as well, not bad. And it requires 600 threat strength, but the enemy leader kind of don't mind that. So. So ideally, this is a supportive one. What we can also do is we can get a rare armor, which gives us about 9 or 10% maximum life into energy shield. That can also work. But for me, I want myself to survive as well, not just the Guardian. So I went with the nearby allies can't reduce action speed, and I went with the nearby enemies can't deal critical damage for this one. It is optional to go with a rare one that has the energy shield with the maximum life. Lastly, this is the last piece that's really expensive. So the Kingmaker, it's a massive, massive item, and it's really good for the high-end upgrade guardian. So you get the increased item drop rate, you get calling strike for your summons, you also get the Nia yeah, Allies have 50% critical critical strike multiplier, which do take my skeletons from 5% to 7.5%, not bad actually. And also Nia yeah, Allies have the Fortify, which is a really good one. <laughs> Fortify reduces our damage taken by at least 10-20%, so not bad. So all together, those three pieces cost me about, this one's about 85 chaos, this one was about 1.9 exalt, this one was about, how much was this one? Let me quickly check. Can't remember, so all in all, those three or four cost us, I think this is about 60-80 k 
chaos. So all in all, those four cost about four exalted. So it cost me about four exalted in total to buy those. And after that, I still kept the Victorian flight. You can go with for the multiple debuff of curses. So there's two items, there's the gloves and the boots that give you multiple debuffs. But I didn't go for that. That's too high end for me at the moment. But I think with one debuff of vulnerability with auto cast for me is enough. With this later we can go for more debuff of course. So currently I'm going for the flight, but I did buy a Val one for 10 chaos or 15 chaos for the 4% increased energy shield. And here I also went for the 6% increased energy shield. So those two cost about 10 chaos each or 15. You don't have to get the increased energy shield, increased life can work. Just something that's kind of implicit on top gives you a little bonus. So here we go. Let's get the Guardian going. Let's see how we go. So I'm going to get my Guardian over here. Oh my. It's going to be big. Damn, look at those. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, everyone gets fortified. It's a fortified party, guys. So after getting fortified, let's look at the buffs. Those are the existing buffs. When getting the grab of Inferno, action speed cannot be lowered. Got the King Market Presence, Calling Strike, Air Humility. You know, fortify everything good. Fortify presence, reduce damage, and the current slot. Let's look at the the current Guardian. It's still a hundred k maximum life, so it does regenerate twenty percent of its maximum life per second. It has at least twenty percent. I'm thinking about twenty to twenty five percent maximum life per second, and because there's a bit of the energy shield increase, and after that, so. If enemies can't kill it quickly, it's a really good tank as well. Because it does have mid shield, it's a great support and also it has the mini life. I did buy the level 21 and 23. There's no need for those. Level 20, 20 can work. This just gives one or two more percent reduction or one or two more percent more HP. I did get the level 21 animated guardian, but I didn't get the quality 20 because that increased movement speed by 40%. So there's not a need for that. I'm not there to use the animated guardian for offensive, no, no purpose. So Red Zombie is just here to benefit. And that's all guys. So this is my high-end setup for the summoning of the animated guardian. Hopefully I made it clear for you guys the mind process and the setup. So we explained the weak one first, then we went further with the stronger one. I do believe the stronger one is only available after you spend at least 20 or 30 exalted on your other pieces and you pretty much are not needing future upgrades anytime soon. For me, I can get an upgrade on the chest armor, of course. I've been a little reluctant to lose this one because I managed to balance all my resistance to okay level for now. Cold is too high, I wish I can balance that. So this armor doesn't have any resistance. But with my particular build, well, the life and life percent is actually pretty good. So I'm still keeping it just because of that. But in the future, I can upgrade it into more resistance and you know, perk more gears. I just didn't want to bother with that. I think I'll settle with this, and if I get more life, it's great, but if I don't, my next goal is to level up. If I can level up, I can get more life, I'm aiming for 7,000 life and 2,000 HP, or 2,000 shield at least. Now, I did forget to mention that with Animated Guardian and the Spectres, how they're going to interact is that if you log off and if you log back in, they will still be there. But keep in mind, for the Spectres, if you happen to remove the gloves while well, they disappear, you have to resummon them. But for the Animated Guardian, it's different. So I'll show you guys a quick example. I'm going to take my helmet off. Animated Guardian disappeared. Don't panic here. I panicked once and I bought a full set and started resummoning it again. But you know that I just spent about you know, 5.5 or 4.5 Exalted on the Animated Guardian. So it wouldn't disappear, right? So what you're going to do is just put it back in, just resummon it. And the dude's back. Look how cool he is. Let me, let me have a look. So he's back. So the first time I played Animated Guardian, I panicked because I removed the sockets and he just never came back. But it's okay. It's in the system. It doesn't go away unless he dies. Keep that in mind. Unless he dies, he will not go away. So while well, the downside is because doing that, it did take my <laughs> it did take my zombies away. So we might as well resummon them if I can. How do I resummon my zombies? I need to... Okay. Here we go. I have my hockeys on the other side there. This is hockey. I'll get my zombies back. So keep in mind, so with Spectres, what you want to do is a small trick for Spectres that really gets annoying. And we'll touch on Spectres in a focus guide, but just with the Spectres, similar to resummoning, if you are about to swap the sockets of Spectre item, do it in turn. If you're gonna color it, if you're gonna, you can't do it with crafting, you have to do it in the 
hideout. But if you're going to color the sockets or change the links or change the gears, do it in town. So this way, when you put it back in town, you come back outside of the town, go to hideout, the specters are still there, so you don't have to resummon them. But the biggest factor here is animated guardian. You do not have to resummon it unless it dies. Keep that in mind. It's saved in the system. You just have to press the skill again and it will come back to you. Thank you so much for watching guys. Hopefully you found this one helpful with more guides and tips to come with part of Excel. I'll see you guys next I'll see you again next time. Stay safe and stay healthy my friends. Make sure you exercise a bit, drink lots of water, take some vitamin C and just be safe. All the best wishes guys anywhere across the world. Love from Australia. Take care my friends.